All right. So good day, everyone. You're welcome to today's um section on the online business growth boot camp. So today, our topic for today, let me look at that flyer again. Those of us on Telegram, welcome. Those of us on Zoom, you are highly welcome. So today, our topic is focused on, we're going to focus on how to be a passive income earner as an online entrepreneur. How to be a high passive income earner as an online entrepreneur. Okay, so before we get started, I need us to set our mind right. You need to know that life is full of principle. And knowing fully well that life is full of principle, the difference between the you that wants to earn $100 every day or every week is different from the you that wants to make $10,000 every month. Now, What's in between the you? What's in between the you that wants to make? Okay, I'm coming. What's the difference between the you that wants to make that is making currently hundred dollar every day or every week, and the you that wants to start making ten thousand dollars every month? The difference is the you that desire and believe you deserve. Hundred, sorry, ten thousand dollars every month. Let me repeat myself. The you that is currently earning hundred dollar a day or a week, and the you that wants to start earning ten thousand dollars every month. The difference is the you in between that desire and know that you deserve ten thousand dollars every month. All right, so. Knowing fully well that you deserve something and you're willing to do what it takes to achieve it makes the difference. Now, many of us think that life is all about certification. No. Certification, having a degree does not equal to wealth. Certification is not equal to monetization. Having a certificate or a degree is one thing, but your ability to make money from that is a different ballgame. And that's why it's very important to create a high income passive business, a high um, passive income business that can generate cash flow for you. What do I mean by this? It's not about the information or the price, the information that you put out there or the price that you tag on your products or your services that make you wealthy, that make you generate money. Rather, it's about the transformation that your product is bringing into that person's life or the transformation the information that you are giving out is bringing to them that is what ensures cash flow because before money is exchanged value must be given first money is useless until it's exchanged for value so the psychology you need to permit yourself each and every one of you that want to do well if you really want to succeed well both in the online space offline space in the business world you must give yourself the psychological permission to increase your price because many at times a lot of business owners have worked with in my close mentorship group entrepreneurs that whenever there is a price increase in um in a franchising co um, commodity they become scared how will someone buy it's just mindset you just have to give yourself that psychological permission okay if i increase my price will someone buy it's all about what mindset is not about the product or the service or the price rather it's about the transformation your products or your service is going to bring to your customer always pay attention to that so there are four things to apply if you want to start earning passively there is a four framework you need to apply the first is clarity you must have you must gain clarity on two things Clarity on your core message and clarity on your core audience. Now, as a business person in the business world, the question is, what problem do you want to solve? You must answer that question of what problem do I want to solve? Knowing the answer to that question gives you the clarity of the message you're bringing into the marketplace as a unique personnel, as a unique brand. What message are you bringing to the marketplace? Now, when you know your message, when you know the message you're bringing into the marketplace, 
then you cannot identify who are your core audience, who are your ideal customer, because your message is not meant for everybody. A woman that sells babies, babies clothes, everything about a child, when she's coming to the market with her message, she knows she's focused on women, pregnant women and women that just put to bed. She's not focused on everybody in the market. So every individual brand in the market have a focus and a target audience. So when you approach the marketplace with, oh, I want to sell to everybody, you end up dying of frustration. You'll be depressed. But when you focus and niche down on the people that truly deserve the value that the value of the message you're bringing to the marketplace, then that you make progress. So your core message is the main thing that will carry you, that, that you are carrying to the market, the value that you are delivering. That is what your core message is. Now, your core audience is you having clarity of who are the people that are in need of the solution I'm about to provide. Who are the people that have the problem, the pain point of the solution that I'm providing? Now, that will help you identify your ideal client. Now, having said that, you also need to know how to niche down. How, how do you know who your ideal clients are? How do you niche down on your business in order to generate and create a high income, a high um, passive income business? Number one, you need to ask yourself and tell yourself the exact truth. What are you passionate about? What is it that when you do from your heart, you get so much satisfaction? You need to ask yourself, what do you have in your hand? What skill do you have in your hand? What knowledge do you have in your head, in your mind? You see your product experiences. Are you into service programs and um, business? Are you into digital products? Do you have experience? Do you have knowledge of something? That's why I love. There's one thing I love about Igbo culture. Igbo culture, when they are running business right now, if you want your son to learn a business from an Igbo man, your parents will have to pay the Igbo man to disclose his knowledge and his secrets in the process of training your son in that business. Because he's paid for, he will pay attention to learning it. So knowing this fully well will not tell you, okay, am I into the business niche, the business market? Am I into the wealth market? Am I into lifestyle market? Am I into parenting, relationship? Remember, there are three business niches. You have the money niche, you have the relationship niche, you have the health niche. Am I into the health niche? Now, understanding this help you narrow down exactly what your core message is and who your core audience are. The next thing you need to also put in consideration is your personal resonance. What's your personal resonance? What do you identify with? Does, because these have to gel with your spirit because if you are not in personal resonance with your spirit in order to deliver a solution, to, to deliver a solution to a problem, trust me, you have conflict within. A lot of people don't do don't do well in the business world because they have conflicts within. And it's okay. It's not a crime. When you're starting out at a particular venture, a new venture, it's okay to have conflicts. And that is why you need, that is why we're having this section for you. Those of us that are starting out, that's why we're having this section for you. Your ability to identify. It's going to take, it will not take you in there for some people. For some, they just, it just click with it. But for others, it takes them time through a process for them to identify. Someone like me, I remember when I started the online business, um, online business journey. Um, though, during COVID, we went online, but after the COVID, we still went back offline. But early this year, 2020, so I decided to start my online journey. At first, it didn't make sense, but I kept an open mind and I was like, one piece at a time, one day at a time, one step at a time. In fact, it took me more than it's because everything tends to be interesting, but I told myself, through professionalism, I need a core message. And I have to sit down and ask myself, before I came online, what have I been doing offline? What has been working for me? What have I been passionate about? All I needed to to move from who I was passionate about offline and bring that personality online. And boom, in six months, I was able to identify my ideal audience and client. So it's okay if it takes you time. No, it's a process. It's okay if you fit immediately. All right. So do this for yourself and set to your um your your your, your personal resonance. Like 
have a, 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 a unified spirituality with yourself that this is what I'm called to do. Then focus and do it, even if it takes you time to achieve. All right. So the next thing I need us to pay attention to is your current results. What's your current results? Your current results. When I talk about current results, I talk about I mean, what are you passionate about? What are the things you have passion to that cur that currently gives you results? both for yourself and for the other. Someone like me, I have to ask myself a question. What am I passionate about? On the online space, there are a lot of high income people that can give you $10,000 per month. But I have to ask myself, what is it that I'm passionate about? There are things I do that, not that I'm not, I don't think I'm passionate about, but I just have to force myself to do because I need the money. So there are things I'm passionate about, like now, speaking to you right now, I know this is what I'm thought for. So if that's why I get offline, doing running business, I meant some people, I coach people, I teach people. I mean, the business, the money. I love helping people make more money in their business, in their personal life, sorry, their financial life. I like transforming people from a low level personality to a high level personality to a high vibration personality. I'm a transformational speaker. I like transforming people's mindset. That is who I am. I'm passionate about it. I'm members of my community know that, and that's why they call the Papa Lion. All right, so there's this violence in like always comes and aggressive to help people. You can penetrate and dominate the world by helping others in the process. All right, so that is good. So you can ask yourself what is the current result you're producing. You must identify that for yourself. Everything is what your result is. You need to ask yourself who do you see? Who do I see myself in this ten years? Who do I see myself to be? In the next five, ten years, who do I want to be? Who are who is that person? Who am I in the next five, ten years? You need to answer that question. If you truly desire to increase your, to have a high passive income in your business, because all this is going to channel your focus, all this is going to, is going to give you a daily purpose. Because the truth is, when you don't have a purpose, when there is no, um, when there is no vision, when there is no purpose, you tend to perish in life. You tend to perish in whatever you do. Because when you have the vision and have the purpose, even when they go in less or become less to it, and you become great in the process. So, what is the last one not the least is you need to ask yourself what is your lowest standing place? What is your lowest standing Meaning, which of your skill can you, which skill do you possess right now that will help you earn money immediately? What you have an income monetize for you to generate money right now because you have to leave the things and resources about you. So the ability that is whatever you can do right now to generate money for you, the better for you. Because when you do that not enough in the process, it will not help you to give them to you to have a big component at all. Because trust me, the business or the little person is not the business. I didn't know I don't end up in the beginning. I need some help because I think it's not that it's just that I think it's just that I think it's just that I think it's just that as an ego, um, he is brought up by a tradition ego family, tradition ego, ego family. Yes, that's what I mean, it's like the one thing that I said. But when it comes to mentorship, working with people, shaping, helping people transform into the life that they desire, transforming people from the beginning of the beginning of the body, then they learn that God is placed in everyone's life. It became a pattern. Initially, I didn't like it. I did not think to send to my sister my journey to sign in the business space. I didn't like the drive to do things, and the process did not begin to be for me. So, put your focus um, your focus 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 the ability to know those who are called to serve will give you now a full message to deliver to them and exchange value for money. Now, I have to say that you also need to, need to, to, to have your service. For those of us that can give us service or knowledge or product, if you already have a product, a physical product, that's also, if you have a physical product, then you must learn how to do what you have your services, your knowledge. The solution of living to the marketplace is you must sit up and face it to the product. That's nobody in this is only the anything. I repeat so. Nobody in this is the only anything. You have to know that you are a good person who is 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 a good person who
website would be um, not that good in getting our um, data to say, sending people to the So, 
So, the record, so thank you. Let's continue. 